Greetings. My name is Robert Patterson, and I'm one of the teaching assistants for the Schools of Public Service Leadership and Nursing Health Sciences. It is my privilege today to come to you and bring you this brief informational uh, presentation about Adobe Connect. Adobe Connect is a software package used to deliver live meetings, uh, prepare recorded sessions such as a PowerPoint presentation that you're going to present as part of a course project or something of that nature. It is also a point of connection for uh, tutoring or uh, live assistance. It allows us the opportunity to share screens uh, and do some other very unique things uh, that can help the learner along the process when they are experiencing struggles. But the purpose of this specific presentation is to prepare a PowerPoint presentation for course room uh, work and assistance. And therefore, I want to walk you through a few steps in the Adobe Connect uh, process uh, that will help you along the journey as you have to prepare these presentations. To access Adobe Connect, there are basically two options. Uh, the first is to access it through your Blackboard course room. On the left navigation panel, you will find a phrase that says, My Meetings. And if you click on My Meetings, it will open up the Adobe session. Uh, the user ID and password uh, that you use to sign into iGUIDE will also gain you access into Adobe. Uh, the second option is just to open up a browser and type in connect.capella.edu, and the Adobe session will open up. The first thing that you're going to have to do is create a meeting room. And so you'll see if, uh, on the main screen there, it'll say My Meetings, and then when you click on that, uh, it'll say Create New Meeting. And so you're going to open up a new meeting room, and you're going to find, find a screen that has lots of fields uh, to be entered. Truthfully, there are only two fields that you really need to populate. The first is the top one, name. You'll see an orange asterisk beside that. And you're going to want to enter the name of your presentation, uh, whether that be Unifor Assignment 1, Course Project, Final Project, you know, whatever uh, you deem necessary to be the name of your project. And then a little bit further down the screen, you'll see the word Access. Uh, there are three options there, and I recommend that you select the bottom option, which says Anyone with this URL can access this meeting room. You're going to want to select that one because when we finish, what you're going to do is uh, present a URL uh, in your discussion post or assignment thread, and that URL is then going to open up your presentation for viewing. And so that's going to be how other learners or your instructor will be able to watch your presentation. So once you have done that, um, then click on finish at the bottom and then that will open up your meeting information room and you, you'll see your name that you've, you've given. You will also see a, a URL for your meeting room and then at the bottom of the screen you will see enter meeting room. Click on that button. Once you've entered the meeting room uh, it will display uh, the full screen which is your main workstation and in the center there you'll see it'll say share my screen and there'll be a drop down button beside that to the right. Click on that and one of the options will be share my document. And once you click on share my document, then you will be able to uh, have a window opened up to you and browse your computer, select your PowerPoint presentation, and then it will populate the Adobe desktop. Once you've done that, you're ready to record your session. And this is the most important part. Uh, in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see the words meeting, and you're going to select on that, and it will open up a drop-down window, and you'll see record meeting. You'll click on that. There'll be a window that opens up. It'll show the name of your recording, and then there'll be an OK button. Once you click OK, you'll see a little red light in the upper right-hand corner appear, and a box that says session is being recorded. You may begin speaking and present your, your uh, report. In the lower left-hand corner of the screen, there will be two arrows, a previous and a next, that will allow you to advance your slides in your PowerPoint presentation. And by doing that, you'll be able to uh, move fluidly through your PowerPoint presentation 
and show the screens as you desire for them to appear as you speak and present uh, your presentation. Once you've concluded your presentation, then again return to the upper right hand corner to the red dot. Click on that red dot. The box will appear say stop recording. At this point is another very important aspect. You're going to return to the upper left hand corner to the word meeting and take this top option, Manage Meeting Information. This is going to open up a window which is going to show you at, towards the bottom of the screen your a session title. And then out to the right of that, you're going to see the word private. Well, in order for your fellow learners or your instructor to view your recording, you're going to need to make that change from private to public. So beside to the left of your session title, there'll be a checkbox. Check that box, and then directly above, there are three buttons, delete, move to folder, and access type. And you're going to click on access type because you want to change the access from private to public. And a window will open, very simple. You see the public option, select it, and then in the center of the screen, you select save. Then that will return you to that same window. And where it used to say private, it will now say public, and you're ready to move forward. So then you click on your session title, which is you see there is a hyperlink, and that opens up the final window, which gives you all the information about your uh, meeting. And about two-thirds of the way down, it'll say URL for viewing. That is the URL that you want to keep and that you want to copy and paste. I always recommend putting it into a Word document or even into your PowerPoint presentation notes uh, so that you have that URL available to you. Then you're ready to go and um, complete your discussion post or your assignment thread, whichever you've been directed to do. Enter that URL and then submit it. And you've completed your presentation. Adobe is a wonderful tool. Many people are frustrated with it at first until they get comfortable with it, but you will get comfortable with it. And if you have any further questions, feel free to contact me uh, directly. My email is robert.patterson at capella.edu, or you can reach out to the teaching assistants through the PSL Learner Success Lab in the Ask Your Teaching Assistant thread. Until next time.